It's a historic moment. The central bank's digital currency has taken its first step in India. The pilot or experiment is being done only for banks and it will eventually be introduced to you and me. But before going ahead, let's understand what is digital currency. Digital rupee, also known as Central Bank Digital Currency, CBDC, is a digital form of currency notes issued by a central bank. These bank notes are not but being digital, it is likely to be easier, faster and cheaper. It also has all the transactional benefits of other forms of digital money. Now, how does the pilot work? Nine banks have a rupee account and a government bond account with Reserve Bank of India. Now, they have to open a CBDC account, that is, a server in their own banking system that is connected to the Reserve Bank's CBDC node or server. Okay, now let's take an example. A bank ABC, as a first step, sends a note to the Reserve Bank asking it to transfer, say, Rs. 100 crore from its rupee account in RBI to its CBDC account in RBI. The Reserve Bank will transfer the money. Now another bank, suppose XYZ, has also done the same. Now both the banks will watch the CCIL screen. The CCIL is like an exchange for bonds, like a stock exchange for stocks. Now the CCIL screen contains requests for sale and requests for purchases of bonds sent by the banks. So bank ABC sent a request to buy say 90 crore of 10 year bonds at a certain price. Bank XYZ has those bonds and it likes the price that is quoted. So it agrees to sell. The orders are placed at a CCIL which is connected to the RBI CBDC server. With both the money and the bonds available with respective buyer and seller, the bonds are transferred by the RBI server to the buyer and the funds are transferred without any RBI intervention from ABC Bank's CBDC account to XYZ Bank CBDC account. There is no intervening body. It is transferred via distributed ledger technology, DLT technology. Okay, now how is this different from what is happening now? First, in the current scenario, all banks buy from the CCIL and sell to the CCIL, much like we do in the stock exchanges. At the end of the day, they get a message from the CCIL on the net amount that has to be transferred to their account or transferred from their account in the RBI. Which means what happens from the CCIL is the net settlement. Now under the CBDC system which is in the pilot, banks don't trade with the CCIL. The money is exchanged between the two banks themselves. Second difference. At the moment, it takes over a day for CCIL to match all the trades and arrive at the net amount and then transfer the net amounts. So settlement is what we call T plus 1, the day you trade plus 1 day. Under the CBDC, the emerging regime, money can be transferred immediately so it is T plus 0 or actually almost real time. Now a course in an experimental phase mein hai with 9 banks. एक बार ये प्रोसेस स्मूथ हो जाएगा तो इसे आगे एक्सपेंड किया जाएगा कॉर्पोरेट्स के पास इवेंचुअली इट विल कम टू यू एंड मी टू रिटेलर्स और इसके बाद जैसे करंटली हम एटीएम से पैसे विड्रॉ करते हैं या एक दूसरे को पैसे ट्रांसफर करते हैं उसी तरह से हम इस डिजिटल करेंसी का इस्तेमाल भी कर पाएंगे इन्वेस्टमेंट्स इन सिक्योरिटीज मार्केट आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल द रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट्स केयरफुली बिफोर इन्वेस्